Hi there, it's Lara from She Shepherds. So today I will be talking about sheep's feet, the system we use here in this farm to keep the ewes on their toes and how we practically get the sheep going through the food bath smoothly. For this video I will be using the two 12 months old brothers, Trooper and Drac. To start with, we are a lowland farm, we are pretty intensive as we run 500 ewes on around 150 acres. Note that most of the ewes are away wintering from October to March, but still, infection in feet can spread very quickly, so this is why we preventively and regularly food bath the sheep. Every couple of weeks, they get through a bath that contains an antibacterial solution as well as natural substances like tea tree to keep the feet healthy and more resistant. So basically, we pass the sheep for the food bath every two weeks and all the ones that would have sore feet will be shed off and put in a wee paddock on their own until they recover and they go back with the others. We'll be turning them over just to see what's going on and uh, if they need treated with what kind of antibiotics. We'll be turning them over with this crate because uh, it's pretty hard work to do it in a pen. So. Make sure she's nice and safe. So I've got her there. She looks quite good. She isn't limping anymore, this one. I'll just put a little bit of spray on her. Financially, lameness in sheep can be very costly. Use with sore feet, lose weight, maybe don't get in lamb, and if they do, struggle to keep up. Lame lambs don't thrive, and tops don't do their jobs. Also, there's nothing worse than working with animals in pain. It can be soul-destroying when lameness persists in a flock. So the sheep that are affected will get shed off until recovery. The ones consistently infected or so will be killed. It's a hard selection, but for the benefit of the group, this is often the right thing to do. After the bath, to give time to the product to have a deep action, we let the sheep stand up on dry ground for half an hour before letting them go back to the field. So practically now, how do we get those sheep for the food bath? Sheep don't like confined spaces and prefer to stay in a group with their friends. We're wanting them to go in a passage and jump into a food bath. They naturally would rather not. 
The first time can be a bit of a nightmare, but once the users and labs are used to it, and the system is great, it's fun, it's quite enjoyable to do with one or even two young dogs. Passing the use with lambs is energy consuming, but it's very useful for the future when the lambs get weaned and need to do it by themselves. Basically, putting pressure on the back of the whole flock doesn't work. You can press as much as you like at the sheep standing at the front of the food bath. Don't fancy going through. It won't make any difference. So here we're trying to put different point of pressure. An important one is outside the race when the sheep aren't very much used to it. Sheep have to keep following each other, but if one stops, we need to be there to give it a little push. Once the sheep understand that it's safe to pass, it gets way easier. And I start standing at the back of the dogs. Again, we're not pushing the whole lot, but we're applying pressure on different bits. Trooper here is holding a little group at the front, while Drac gets the whole mob together. It's a great way for young dogs to gain experience and to learn proper work. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all very much for supporting the channel.